Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. I have something a little special for you today on the Crimson Engine. We're going to look at a light, but not just any light, a very special light. This one, the Hudson Spider. Eight limbed um, transforming LED array uh, that is incredibly versatile, that's incredibly bright. It has a 400 watt power output. It comes with two or three different um, ways to conform it. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I met the guys, um, Tim and Sarah at NAB, and uh, they're Australians. Uh, Tim's a, uh, a DP, and he basically created this light out of need. He was working on films and commercials, and he always needed a big, soft source that was light, that could be mounted high, that was easy to carry. Um, but also one that didn't spill. Um, so the way you would traditionally get this is use a, use a bank of 4x4 LEDs or use a bank of uh, 4x4 Kino flows, but it doesn't give the same effect as a circular source. It's not as pretty uh, in the eye. It's not as pretty um, with the reflections. So he, through many prototypes with his team, created this Hudson Spider. Um, that transforms and adapts to all sorts of wonderful ways. I first learned about it on one of Matt Workman's podcasts and have really wanted to check it out. It's become a kind of go-to high-end LED source for you know uh, working cinematographers. So I'm going to swap from the um, Hudson Spider over to an LED panel so I can show you exactly how it works. So when you pull this light out of the box, it looks like this. Uh, only weighs a couple of pounds. Um, each one of these eight arms collapses in on itself, so, so it's very compact and transportable. Then uh, you can mount it to a light stand or a C-stand, and then uh, you start to open up the different uh, limbs and possibilities and ways to configure this light. So by loosening it in the C-stand knuckle, um, it can rotate. So that lets you open up the first stage of each arm. Once you've done that, you can open the second stage of each arm. So I set it to 10% so you can see uh, basically how it works. Um, you just have to, now that it's plugged in, you have to watch the cable that it doesn't twist up. Um, but essentially there's arrays of LEDs in the arms that are joined by a hinge. And it means that uh, you can make the light um, smaller or bigger by manipulating the, um, the legs of the spider. So the next thing you do is put on a um, softbox, like an octobank, um, that stops the... You can, if you don't have issues with spill, you can use it entirely like this. Uh, the next step in configuring it to be used on set is to add the softbox, which is what I'll do now. So you can kind of drape this over and each of the legs fits into a little pocket as you rotate the light. Then once you have your softbox on, it attaches by a zip at the back. So it's pretty easy to configure. And this uh, softbox then serves to um, hold the diffusion. It has the advantage of still revealing a lot of the um, structure of the spider legs inside the light so that it breaks up the perfect um, kind of two perfect circle in the eye of the subject. But um, I'll stop, I'll turn off this light and I'll stop down the camera and I'll uh, measure the output. So at uh, full power at about three feet away from the front of the um, uh, diffusion, I'm getting uh, 600 foot candles, which is about 6,200 lux. The difference between this and other bright LEDs is this isn't too bright to look at. It's not, um, it doesn't burn the eyes of the talent even at full power because the, uh, the parabolic um, formation of the light is what's giving the throw and not necessarily um, the pure brightness of the LEDs. So you might be thinking, uh, you know, three, a three foot diameter is great, but I want bigger sources. I'm shooting full body shots like we are here and this is only gonna cover the top half of my talent. Well, the spider has you covered. And now you have what's probably a 
four and a half foot source, but uh, you can go bigger again. So you start by adding this um, initial layer of diffusion and then uh, I'm gonna have to move this back. I'm not even gonna fit it on camera. You bring out oh, this thing, which looks like uh, it fell off a spaceship. So now we have a um, six foot uh, light source. And yes, there's diffusion for this. So now we have the full six foot version of the Hudson um, in its diffused light source. So I'm going to uh, slide the um, panel out the way, move this to where it was when we started, and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm being lit by this huge diffuse source. Uh, like I said, it's still only 50% power. Um, it can go much brighter. It's by color. Uh, it all packs up into a tiny little uh, hard case, travel case, um, and you can even run it off batteries. So, uh, I mean, the Hudson Spider, as far as configurability, as far as transportability, as far as um, the way it's designed and the way it's meant to be used is like the future of lighting. It is going to be seen a lot more, I think, on sets, a lot more on um, high-end budget um, feature films, TV commercials, TV shows. It's just a, a really versatile, awesome tool. Instead of having to bring a whole array of different lights um, in different colors with different powers, um, different sizes, uh, suddenly you can bring one light and it can do, you know, 90% of the things that you would typically want. So after I met them at NAB, I went out to um, their factory uh, just outside of Los Angeles here in California. You know, they make everything there. Um, they test everything there. That's my look at the Hudson Spider. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.